Well, in New York, all signs seem to be pointing to being past the peak of this Omicron surge. The state's positivity rate now below 10% for the first time in a month. Hospitalizations also dropping, though, at a slower rate. But Governor Hochul says she isn't budging yet on loosening the face mask rules in the state. News 4's Andrew Siff joining us live in Long Island City. Hi, Andrew. Hi, Natalie. Yes, the governor said that mask mandate, which is currently set to expire February 1st or 2nd, she's going to wait until essentially the night before to gather all the data and make that decision. But she is open to the possibility after the numbers are finally pointing in the right direction. Kathy Matos finally got her booster shot today. She'd been putting it off until the reality of COVID got too close. I had a friend that passed away just now. So I had no choice but to go get it. But even as the Omicron wave remains a serious challenge for hospitals and healthcare workers, with federal reinforcements arriving Monday in Coney Island, Governor Hochul today on Long Island with a promising forecast. You do not have to be a Brookhaven scientist to see. Look at this. The trend is heading in the right direction. The governor said the downward trend even more dramatic when you consider the number of cases dropped from 90,000 on January 7th to 28,000 today, a 66% plunge in two weeks. We are finally trending the direction we want to go down, and that is downward, downward, downward. But challenges remain. Some school districts angling to get rid of masks early. The governor saying not so fast. I find it phenomenally disappointing that people are willing to play politics with children's lives. And she said no decision on the statewide indoor mask mandate until closer to February. I'll tell you about February 1st and January 31st. I, I really do need to wait until that time. Meanwhile, the push to get more people vaccinated and boosted continues. Today at this walk-in site at the Goddard Riverside Community Center in a NYSHA apartment complex, the convenience paying off. Doing it right here in the public housing facility allows folks to be able to come right down out of their houses. And new news out of the White House today, which is that the booster shot significantly increases your protection, even against Omicron. So federal officials stepping up that message that as federal relief teams are due to arrive in New York City on Monday to help those frontline health care workers. We're live in Long Island City. Andrew Siff, News 4 New York.